finish our last section of chapter 4, all right, um, 4.6. We have two important theorem here. The first theorem is trapezoidal rule, and the second theorem is Simpson rule. These two theorem is used to uh, approximate an integral of a function. But before we go to the theorem, let's look at uh, the first example here. First example, I have an integral from 2 to 3. 2 times x to the negative 2 dx. All right, um, this is the exact value. So if you're going to take an integral of this, you will add 1 to the exponential. So you have negative 2 plus 1. And on the denominator, you have negative 2 plus 1. So you end up with 2x to the negative 1 over negative 1. Um, uh, lower limit is 2 and upper limit is 3. Now um, I rewrite a little bit. So uh, I rewrite it as negative 2 over x and then um, I substitute the lower and upper limit in. Uh, substitute 3 in here I have negative 2 over 3 minus substitute 2 in here I have negative 2 over 2 which is negative 2 over 3 plus 2 over 2. If you simplify this, it's one third or approximately 0 0.3333. All right, let's look at the first uh, theorem, the trapezoidal rule. Uh, trapezoidal rule, look at the formula. It's going to be approximately b minus a over 2n. So my b is 3, my a is 2. Uh, 2 is number 2 here, and I let it equal to 4. Um, <clears throat> you can let it be any number, but I just make it 4. So we divide uh, a number line from 2 to 3 into 4 sections. So the first one starts from 2, 2 and a quarter, 2 and a half, 2 and a 3 fourth, and then 3. So the first one will be x1, I'm sorry, x0 x1, x2, x3, and x4. Now let's follow the theorem. Uh, I have b minus a over 2n. Uh, look at the theorem. The first term is just f of x sub 0. So I have f, my x sub 0 is 2. Um, the second term will be 2 times f of x sub 1 plus 2 times x of x sub 2 and so on. So only first term and the last term that you don't multiply by 2. Everything else in between you're going to multiply by 2. So the first term is just f of, f of 2. The last term will be f of 3, 2 and 3. And in between you multiply everything else by 2. Um, simplify this. We have f of x is equal to 2 over x squared. So if x is 2, I'm going to have 2 over 2 squared, which is 2 fourths. Uh, time, uh, plus 2 times f of 2 to the 1 fourth. So substitute 2 to the 1 fourth into x here. So you will have 2. Uh, 2 to the 1 fourth is just 9 over 4 quantity square and so on. And if you simplify all this, you should get 0 0.3352. Alright, which is close, but let's look at Simpson rule. Alright, Simpson rule approximation is at, uh, b minus a over 3n. So this is the formula, right? And my n again is the same here as 4. So I have b minus a over 3 times 4. Now let's look at the formula. The formula you have f of x sub 0 plus 4 times f of x sub 1 plus 2 times f of x sub 2 plus 4. So the first term, the first function and the last function, you don't multiply by any number. However, in between, you're going to multiply by 4, 2, 4, 2, and so on, ultimately. So we do the same thing. The first f of f of two, so this one, plus four times f of x sub one plus two times f of x sub two plus four times x of x uh, f of x sub three, and the last term you don't multiply by anything. Uh, same idea. You uh, substitute the 2 in here, you get this one. Substitute 2 and a quarter in here, 
right here so you get this one and so on uh, simplify this you're gonna get 0 0.3334 as you can see the Simpson rule is much closer than uh, the trapezoidal rule and again I choose for n to be 4 but if you probably want to make it closer you can make it bigger number all right so we finished chapter 4 I'll see you next time bye